Guys, can we get an F in the chat? Uberzug is no more. And if for some reason you don't know what Uberzug is, Uberzug was basically a tool that allowed you to get image support inside your terminal. So maybe you had a terminal file manager like this, and Uberzug could give you these kind of image previews right in your terminal. And so that was the main use for it. A million people have made a video on this subject already. But for the longest time, if you wanted to have images inside your terminal, then Uberzug was basically what you used. But a few months ago, as you can see right here, the maintainer decided to shut the project down. He basically deleted everything in the GitHub right here and said that he's not working on it anymore. And this was big news a few months ago. And as usual, I'm late to the party. And his reasoning for shutting this project down is just because, according to him, he got a lot of harassment from this project. So... I'm sure a lot of you people can probably imagine the life of an open source developer, but it is a pretty thankless job. And a lot of times you're having to answer a bunch of stupid questions, maybe in the issues tab in your GitHub, people asking a bunch of stupid questions that they would have had the answers to if they had just spent five minutes reading the documentation. And so finally he had just had enough and he decided to shut everything down. He no longer wanted to support it at all. But now that Uberzug is no more, what are we supposed to use instead? So as you can see right here, I still do use a terminal file manager all the time. And I had been using Uberzug for years until this. And so I wanted to explore some alternatives to Uberzug in this video. And my recommendations as to what you should use instead. And before we get started, I'd just like to apologize to all of my German viewers for the absolute butchering of the word Überzug I'm going to make in this video. Just bear with me. I'm an American. I'm sure you can understand. Now, first things first, you can continue to use Uberzug, so it is still in all the official repositories. If you install it with your package manager, then you can see that it is still there. It's just not being maintained, so you're using the version from a few months ago, and it still works for now. So technically, you can still use that, but it's probably better to use something that is still maintained. And actually, as I was researching this video, there is a new currently maintained fork of Uberzug right here. And so this is just the Uberzug project being continued. And they just had their first release of this a few days ago. So it's probably a little bit too early to see if they're going to continue maintaining it for the long term. And it's not in any official repositories yet. But maybe in the future it will be. So if there are any updates to this video, I'll probably pin a comment with all of the latest happenings. Just to let you know. But since this isn't packaged for any releases with any package managers... Like the version here is 18.2, but as you can see in my package manager, it is still on the previous release from the old maintainer. So if you want to continue using Uberzug, I would actually recommend you use Uberzug PP. Now this is basically a rewrite of Uberzug in C++. The original was written in Python, and this should function exactly the same as the original, just with a few other small features, because it is meant to be a drop-in replacement. And so if you install this and delete your old Uberzug, then everything should continue to work exactly as it has. So I downloaded Uberzug PP, I didn't change anything to my configuration, and I still got the image previews that I expected. And of course it is being currently maintained. So I would give this a try if this looks interesting. It is available at least in Arch Linux in the AUR, just called Uberzug PP. So download that with your favorite AUR helper. Otherwise you can build it from source. As you can see right here, there are instructions. I'll leave a link in the description. So that is all well and good if you want to continue using Uberzug. If you want to, you can, and I recommend this one specifically. But there are actually a few issues with Uberzug, and the original maintainer even goes over these in this readme that he's replaced the project with. So Uberzug was only ever a tool to hack image support into terminal emulators. And the thing with Uberzug is it doesn't work in Wayland, only in X. So if you've been thinking about switching to Wayland, then Uberzug will just not work under Wayland. And that also means that Uberzug is not very future-proof because Wayland support is only growing by the day. And more and more people are using Wayland. So in the future, when many more people are using Wayland, then Uberzug really isn't going to be a viable option. And the other issue is that Uberzug was kind of stepping on the toes of some other projects that try to establish a standard for images in terminals. So some terminal emulators actually have native support for images, most notably Kitty. So Kitty is a very popular terminal emulator. I've actually used it before. I think it's a very good terminal emulator. 
and I'll probably do a full video on it in the future. It's just only reason I switched away from Kitty is it has way too many features to be honest. But one great feature that Kitty adds is its own image protocol. So let's go to Kitty. I have Kitty open right here. And Kitty can display images with kittens. So kittens are kind of like these built-in extensions or plugins to the Kitty terminal emulator. And we're going to use the kitten iCat in order to display images. So if we write all this out and the path to an image, ta-da, we now have an image right here in our terminal. And it doesn't have to use any hacky way like Uberzog. The way Uberzog does it is it pastes a child window over your terminal. But this is just native support. And so this will work just fine in Wayland as well as X. And now if you want to get something like image previews in your terminal file manager, well, you can just do that with Kitty instead of having to use Uberzog. And so for me personally, I use the terminal file manager LF. That is what is on screen right here. And I rewrote some of my scripts here that preview images with Uberzog. I just rewrote them to use Kitty instead. And so I'll leave a link to these if you want in the description. But if you use LF, then you can use a script like this in order to preview things with Kitty. And there should be support for other terminal file managers as well, like Ranger, NNN. I'm not going to go over how to do that in every file manager, but at least for my favorite one, LF, you can now use it with Kitty with absolutely no problem. And this will work in Wayland as well as X. And Kitty has its own protocol for images. But of course, this is only going to work in Kitty. So what about some other terminal emulators? Can they still display images natively? And the answer is some of them can, some of them can't. And there is another image format that terminals can use. It's called Sixel. So Sixel is an image format designed to be displayed in terminals that has actually been around forever. I think it's been around since the 80s. But it is still alive and well, and a lot of terminal emulators these days actually still support it. And we can go to this website right here called Are We Sixel Yet? And basically find out if your favorite terminal emulator supports the Sixel format. So we can go down here and unfortunately my favorite one, Alacrity, does not support this. But there is an issue open and a PR and people are working on it. So maybe in the future it will have support for this. But a lot of popular ones like Foot is a popular one for Wayland. I know Indian Luke Smith did a video on this and it looked very interesting. iTerm2 for Mac OS is there. Kitty doesn't have it because it has its own protocol. Console has it. And a lot of different popular terminal emulators do have this. You can patch it into ST. But you can check out this website right here. And if your favorite terminal emulator is in here, then you can use the Sixel format. So in order to do this, let's close this out and open up a Sixel compatible terminal emulator. Let's pick console, the KDE one. And there's a few different libraries and tools out there that you can use to convert images to a Sixel format. And a Sixel format is just like this huge long string of text that some terminals can parse into an image. But probably the most popular tool I see people using to convert images to Sixel is Chafa. And so if you install this, it should be in all the standard repositories. So just install it with your package manager. But let's run Chafa and then grab our picture of a cat. And as you can see, we now have a picture in the terminal. And Chafa will not only render images into Sixel format, but it'll also use Kitty's protocol if you use Kitty. But as you can imagine, if you use something like Alacrity, which does not have any native support for images, and you try to run Chafa here, then this is the best you're going to get. Unfortunately, Alacrity cannot do any better than this at this point in time. So Chafa will try to do its best in each terminal that it's in, but this might be all you get. Anyway, let's go back to Sixel. So this is how Sixel looks. It looks very good. And of course, this will work in Wayland just fine, as well as X. It just depends on which terminal you're using. And this is actually a reason why the original maintainer doesn't really want Uberzug to still be maintained because he feels like Uberzug was kind of this crutch that a lot of people were using instead of actually pushing for native image support via something like Sixel. And so maybe as an example, Alacrity has not implemented Sixel for a long time just because people could use Uberzug. But now that Uberzug is gone, maybe people will push Alacrity to get support for it. That's kind of the idea that the original maintainer is pushing here. Oh, and by the way, if you want to use Sixel inside the LF file manager, then you do need to use this fork of LF because the original 
LF does not really display Sixel images properly. So there is this fork of LF, and you can download it from the AUR with LF Sixel Git. If you're not on Arch, then you probably have to build it from source. But I'll leave a link to this as well if you want to explore this more. So finally, you might be wondering what I recommend. And I recommend actually not using Uberzug anymore. So Uberzug was great for its time, but as I said, it's not really future proof. Specifically, if you ever want to move to Wayland, then you are going to have to find something else. But this rewrite of Uberzug, Uberzug PP, will actually work with Sixel or the Kitty image protocol, as you can see right here. So in theory, this should work in Wayland as well. You might have to tweak some things to get it to work, but it should work. And so I think if you're a little bit lazy and you don't really want to change your configs too much, then this will probably be the best option. Just install this and remove your old Uberzug. But if you don't mind changing your configurations a little bit and switching over to something like Kitty, I think I'm actually going to be using Kitty for a while. It has always been a very good terminal, and I think I'm going to try it out for a little while and see if I like it. And at least for now, for my file manager configurations, I've switched over to using Kitty's image protocol instead of Uberzug. Or if you're already using one of these Sixel compatible terminal emulators, and you don't mind doing a little bit of work in order to actually configure using Sixel in your file manager or whatever, then I think that this will also be a very good choice. And things are changing fast, so check out this video later if you're viewing this months from now and see if things have changed. But that's just my recommendation. You can let me know what you think in the comments. But in my opinion, I think we should just let Uberzog rest in peace and see if we can do better in the future with native support for images in the terminal.